assassinate Saudi Arabia's ambassador to the U.S. The chairman of the House Homeland Security Committee says Iran has spies in America. Specifically, he says, people who work at Iran's mission to the U.N. and Iran's interest section in Washington. We, to me, should uh, get rid of either all of them or uh, most of them and send a clear signal. King says they all could be expelled on suspicion of spying. He says he knows the Iranians in those offices he suspects of spying, but their identities are classified. King didn't give specific information tying them to the alleged Saudi assassination plot. But he says some of those people are tied to Iranian intelligence and that people in those offices have in the past been ID'd as members of the Quds Force, the shadowy Iranian military unit suspected of involvement in the Saudi plot. Eric O'Neill's the former FBI investigator who took down Russian spy Robert Hansen, a case dramatized in the Hollywood film Breach. I asked O'Neill about the allegation that the plotters wanted to bomb the ambassador at a restaurant. Could someone at their interest section in D.C. maybe give the information to the Iranians that the ambassador wanted to go to a certain restaurant or was frequenting that restaurant? It, it's certainly possible. That, that is the sort of actionable intelligence that a spy, yeah, that is gold to a spy. O'Neill says by day the interest section employees may be processing visas, but in their spare time, he says, they could be recruiting sources. We called and emailed the interest section, then went over there. This is the Iranian interest section here in Washington. It works through the Pakistani embassy, but the Pakistanis say they don't control what happens here. They just pass messages to and from both governments to each other. Uh, we're going to go in here and see if anybody wants to talk to us to respond to Congressman King's comments. I met at the door. Yes, hi. I'm Brian Todd from CNN. Um, I'm recording this because we're rolling on this. I wanted to see if Mr. Shirazi or Mr. Rahmani can come. They're not available? Can they come outside and speak to me? I said they're not available. When I call back, I'm told all that's done there is consular work. Officials at Iran's mission at the U.N. did not respond to our calls and email asking for response to Congressman King. But Iranian officials have vehemently denied any role in trying to assassinate the Saudi ambassador. President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad told CNN recently his country never had any intent to hurt Saudi Arabia. And even if they did, he said, they wouldn't do it in the United States. Brian Todd, CNN, Washington.